Hello and welcome to this video about this 1968 Jaguar S-Type EV conversion. So this conversion uses all of the components from a 40 kilowatt hour leaf, the motor, inverter, PDM and also the battery pack. It is um, split between half the modules in the front and half the modules in the rear. And as usual, we've tried to integrate it as much into the car as we possibly can. You'll notice there's not much difference between the dash before the conversion and after the conversion there. So as mentioned, these are the battery boxes. That's the front battery box, which houses 12 of the 24 modules. And then we have also the, the rear battery box, which houses the other 12 of the 24 modules. These are designed so that they are bolt in so that we don't cut drill or weld or anything on the car. Hence this rear battery box is on a um, mountain plate that picks up the mountain points in the car. This video is just intended as an introduction to the car and we'll be bringing out more videos with much more detail of all of the different steps in the next few weeks so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. after that first drive it was time for a bit more testing and making sure that everything worked um, so I'll take you through all of the different features of the car so here you can see it's on a rapid charger there's that front battery box that we just showed you nicely installed and that's the full motor stack so that's the motor the inverter and the PDM which contains the charger and the DC DC converter in it all of the original heatings there we're using a water-based PTC heater in this build so that means we can leave all that plumbing. There's the um, aluminium radiator that cools the motor and inverter and is, has a fan control to make sure it keeps its temperature. Everything else is the original stuff in the car, the original battery placement, everything else. Our wiring harness sits on top of the existing car's wiring harness. So you could take all of that stuff out and put the engine back into the car. As I always say, why would you? But you could do that. You can see on the lucky thing about the Jaguar is that it's got twin tanks, or it had twin tanks. So we've got Chadamo charging on one side. We've got the rear battery box installed in the rear, um, which with all of its um, connectors and, and safety disconnects in the in the back there. Still means you've got full luggage capacity apart from above the rear axle, and you still got access to the spare wheel. This side actually has the Type Two charge port on it. So that's just inside the, what was the um, fuel flap. And those have 3D printed bases so that then um, we can just um, use a 3D printed nut underneath to secure all that in. So again, no drilling, welding or cutting, just keeping the car as original as we possibly can. Inside, it's just the same as it was before. The speedometer, the tachograph, the clock, and the main dials on there. Um, the Tachograph doesn't work um, just because we hadn't had a request to get it to, to do so. Everything else, all the gauges are exactly the same and they're working, the amp meter, the volt meter um, and the, also the, the water temperature gauge. The only difference, uh, these two switches are changed. One is the direction switch, so that's forward and reverse. And then what was the starter button is now the neutral button. Every other button works exactly the same as it does before, including the heater controls. It still has its original gearbox. All we've done is taken the clutch out and replaced the uh, mechanical pedal with an electrical pedal. Um, yeah, going back to the gearbox, you have the gearbox, you can select whichever gear you want. It doesn't have a clutch, so you'd kind of select whichever gear you want before you start driving. All the interior is uh, exactly as it was before. Um, the car had a little bit of paint before it came to us, so we reassembled the, um, reassembled the interior and put that back into the car. Um, so w one thing in this build and most of the builds that we do we try and keep the car as original as it could be whilst being a, a electrical power so that's a brief walk around it like I said we'll be doing a lot more videos in detail of the different steps of the build this was just to kind of give you an introduction and let you, you see the car here is Pete the customer picking up the car and taking it away home so he drove it all the way from our workshop in Durham up to um, to his house which is about 120 miles away um, he rapid charged it on the way back home again 
and it worked perfectly he, he, his comments were that he uh, loved the car and it was fantastic when he got it back home again so like and subscribe share the video go to our website which is kingonev.com to subscribe to the conversion newsletter